So we've been um, working obviously for, for a while on, on getting um, digital skills amongst really everybody, certainly within the, the marketing team. I think you know, our job is to build great brands and I think a lot of um, what we do is about um, you know, getting um, good reach and obviously to get good reach then we have to be really, really active within digital uh, channels. So we've made quite a, a choice really um, to really upskill everybody in that area and sort of raise the, the floor on, um, on skills. Um, you know, we've brought a few kind of specialists in but it's really about bringing everybody up to speed in that area. And the example I gave on, on Ben & Jerry's is a real favourite actually. So, um, you know, Bright kind of spark within the team was able to merge um, sort of social sort of chatter data together with sales data, together with um, weather uh, data and actually cons um, consumption data as well. Um, and what we discovered was that actually most of the sort of chat around um, Ben & Jerry's tends to be around a kind of Thursday, really in anticipation of the, of the weekend. Actually most of the consumption tends to be around um, either hot weekends, but the interesting thing was also wet weekends. Um, so actually, you know, what we've done as a result of, of, of that learning is to really kind of um, sort of focus our media, particularly around that sort of Thursday kind of Friday um, period. And as a, as a result, the efficiency that we've driven, the return on investment, um, is really significant. We've really stepped it up. Obviously, um, the rise in in in, in digital and, and the sort of the, the change in technology and the increase in mobile, all of those things that we're, we're all totally aware of. Um, has had quite a dramatic effect on the way that we reach our, um, our consumers. Um, and what we've really sort of thought about is that the best way to sort of stay really ahead of all of those trends is to form sort of really close relationships with, um, with startups. Um, so the thought behind the Unilever Foundry is essentially it's a bit like a dating agency. So we invite you know the brightest and the best um, um, uh, sort of startups in, really within that space of sort of mobile, um, um, sort of um, data analytics and so on. And then we pair them um, with brands that have some sort of need within that um, within that area. Um, so the startups get access to big brands, um, which they often uh, wouldn't do, and the brands obviously get access to some really leading edge kind of pioneering uh, technology. Um, and there's been some great examples of how those sort of collisions, if you like, have, have led to some, some, some really interesting work. I think my big takeaway often is, you know, you can have a, a bunch of people from very sort of diverse uh, backgrounds. I mean, there was me from Unilever somebody from Microsoft, somebody from uh, Google, and then somebody from the agency world. But actually, you know, um, I think points of view are, are really starting to sort of come together at the moment, which is the need to really engage in, um, you know, big technological kind of advances um, and being able to, to think about how we market our, our brands within that period of, of, of change. But I think with a really high degree of um, sort of optimism and, and excitement, actually, I think it's, it's just about the kind of coolest era to be a, to be a marketeer um, in at the moment. I, I felt that kind of enthusiasm in the room today.